instantaneous velocity. The average velocity does not describe the motion of the particular instant of time during which time interval the average velocity is calculated. Hence, to know how fast the particle moves at a particular instant of time, we define instantaneous velocity. The velocity of a particle at a particular instant of time, not during a finite time interval, is known as instantaneous velocity. The instantaneous velocity, Vx, equals the limiting value of the average velocity, delta x by delta t, as delta t approaches zero. Vx equals to limit delta t tends to zero, delta x by delta t. This limit is called the derivatives of x with respect to t, written as dx by dt. Vx equals to limit delta t tends to zero. Delta x by delta t equals to dx by dt. The instantaneous velocity is a rate of change of position with time. In figure, as the time interval, delta t gradually becomes smaller and smaller, the point P2 approaches P1, and the line joining P1 to P2 gets steeper and steeper. This steepness cannot be more than that of the tangent to the curve at time T1, that is, at P1. The slope of this tangent line at P1 is the instantaneous velocity at the time T1. This slope may be positive, x increasing, or negative, x decreasing. Hence, the instantaneous velocity may be positive or negative in straight line motion. The magnitude of the instantaneous velocity is called the instantaneous speed. In uniform motion, the instantaneous velocity of a body is equal to the average velocity.